Moin, I'm Catherine and today I'm back with Plasi, who's here from originally like everywhere, but <laughs> currently living in Denmark. Yeah, I live in Copenhagen, that's right. And we're at the Reeperbahn Festival. Have you already played? Yeah, I played uh, yesterday evening in yeah. uh, Imperial Theater. Oh, how nice. Uh, that's like one of my favorite locations at the yeah, Reeperbahn Festival. It was really special. And uh, even with limited capacity, it was uh, really special to play there. Was it was um, it but, but but was it super weird? No, not not necessarily. I mean, only knowing that there were people in line that couldn't get in yeah. uh, felt a little bit mixed, of course. But it also gave a feeling of that okay, uh, we are still we are in a festival and uh, yeah. and um, uh, people are excited about it. So even if not everyone was in the room, it was still. It still gave me a lot of energy knowing that there were so many people interested in seeing the yeah. show. And I'm playing again tonight in yeah. uh, San Paolo. So oh, that's awesome. I, you, you've got all the nice locations. <laughs> yeah, nice I was locations. like, wow. Uh, and both generous. locations are seated anyway. So it's not yeah. so strange that people are seated in contrast. No, to exactly. It. It's, of course, different than a standing yeah. crowd, but it works with the music. Yeah, yeah, that's great. What else happened last night? What else happened last night? Um, uh, this new stomp box we bought was not as expected when we were going to play. So we had a little bit last minute crisis there trying mm. to uh, change the sound of it, but it worked out. Um, so some last minute things. Otherwise, we traveled from where we were in the morning. I traveled from Copenhagen with train here. Mm -hmm. My musicians, they came from Stockholm, mm -hmm. so they flew in. Yeah. Um, to, then we went out for one beer after the gig uh, uh, but you know we haven't like these days uh, um, everything kind of happens last minute you come here and we, we rehearsed when yeah. we came uh, since we don't live on the same place either so it was a day full of uh, full of excitement and uh, uh, energy so it was very nice after the show or during the show and when it was done and everything it felt amazing Nice. Yeah, and and it's the first actually concert this year in front of people for me. So it is. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. Uh, because I did a tour in December last year. Yeah. So, um, did you have to cancel dates? Did you have other dates planned that you had to cancel? No, not really. We uh, so we announced yesterday a tour uh, okay. for next uh, spring together with Axel Flovent and yeah, other. Yeah, oh, nice. He's uh, also been. Too, He's been here, yeah. yeah. So we're doing a co-headline tour. We had been speaking about that to do that this fall, yeah. But we never announced it. So we try. We have tried to kind of yeah. push it. But now I feel like you know you have to at least announce it and make it try, yeah. and then like Fingers crossed. yeah, as the as the concerts are made here in Hamburg, it shows that you can make concerts. Yeah, and so. that's the reason why the Rikaban Festival is taking place to see how yeah. it could, would, will. Exactly, well, yeah. yeah. And it's important. It is, yeah. absolutely. Where are you going to sleep tonight? Uh, we sleep in a hotel uh, just uh, very close to the main area of, of, some, mm -hmm. of the Reprobahn Festival. Oh, that's, so that's lucky. Yeah. we were lucky. We booked it as soon as we knew yeah. <laughs> that we were going to play here with wow. my band. Awesome. So here's some silly sleep bed related questions. When yeah. was your last pillow fight? Pillow fight. Ooh, uh, that is a good question. I have a very clear memory of a pillow fight, but I don't know exactly when that was. When can it have been? Um, who was it with? Who? Uh, yeah, who can it have been with? Either like either a band member. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Uh, or an ex-girlfriend. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. So you remember, <laughs> you remember, there was I remember the flying, energy of it. You yeah, don't yeah. Know who, okay. yeah, I remember, but probably, yeah, probably a band member, yeah. <laughs> Do you have a notebook beside your bed, like when you have ideas in the middle of the night, yet you can write them down? Um, actually, I don't, but it has been a thing I've been thinking of having for many years. Somehow, I my ideas normally don't come. I mean, when they come, I just go take my phone. Yeah. Uh, and write it down or or usually it would be more of a melody and then yeah. i just have to record it anyway yeah, okay so it wouldn't be like that lyrics come in the middle of the night yeah. it would be something more melodical so but i like the idea yeah, yeah. thank you for yeah. reminding me you're welcome <laughs> you're welcome 
What's the most annoying song for you to be woken up by? To be woken up by? Um, I must be something they play on like a mainstream station mm -hmm. or something. Uh, It's basically everything, that, except uh, for you, they play on the mainstream station. <laughs> yeah, except for when they play me, yeah. No, but you know something you have heard a million of times. What do you do when you cannot sleep? When I cannot sleep, I try to... Um, I actually have like this spike mat. Have you heard about that? No. It's like a yoga mat with, with spikes. It, okay. it, it's used in, uh, in um, I think, in Buddhistic. Yeah. Uh, it actually became very hip in Sweden uh, a couple of years ago. Everyone yeah. wanted it for Christmas. Okay. But if you can't sleep, you lay on that one for 15 minutes and you will fall asleep. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it starts your circulation in, yeah. in your in your back and it just makes you relaxed. Um so either that or I would um um I would maybe uh, play the guitar. Okay. Kind of calms me down a bit. Okay, yeah. Yeah, try to see That if I can good. get something inspirational. What would your dream world look like? What? Your dream world. Oh. What would it look like? My dream world in in general. Mm -hmm. in general. Um That everyone can uh, can live in a, in a system like uh, uh, yeah, like I've been raised in. I think we, I'm so lucky to be to be raised in in a country where where you know like uh, there are not too many differences between rich and poor, and mm -hmm. actually people who come from backgrounds uh, that are not that um, let's say rich can still have a possibility to do a, a journey in their life to something yeah. else and. Uh, That would be the dream world if every country was like that. Then yeah. we didn't need, uh, we wouldn't need, you know, to have even discussions about um, uh, having to save people from other yes. parts of the world to yes. us or something. Yes. But just everyone could live where they wanted. Yeah, that's a very good answer. Last question. Which monster sleeps under your bed? And you can like go either to your childhood or go deep shit or... I think it's more like there's something with uh, the, I, I can't say exactly who, but but the the times I would like wake up is when I feel like I, some someone is uh, running after me, mm -hmm. uh, like trying to hunt me. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It, it's not a specific person. It's more a, a feeling. So um, of being followed. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that that, 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 that is yeah. a kind of a monster, that you know, someone kind of who follows me, and I don't know who it is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, that sounds good. Thank you so so much for coming. Thank you. And let's say bye to you coming up there. Bye, guys. <laughs> feeling home, feeling real, feeling calm, my. Way.